Have faith in. Come on, talk to me. Lah. Have faith in God. Lah. You see what happens. You know, faith is in God. Lah. You know, faith focuses on God. Lah. It is not right in a denomination. It is not in a church. It is not in an individual. If you're looking at individuals for your miracle, listen, you will be very disappointed. Lah. Why? Because faith is in God. Lah. You know, faith, the Bible says, right, it is faith that pleases God. Lah. What's God's operating system? Lah? You know, how, right, how does God, even this morning, amen, bless us? Lah? You know, God blesses us, right? Why? Because through faith. Lah. The Bible says, right, in Mark 9, 23, if you can believe all things are... Now, listen, the Bible doesn't say some things. Lah. The Bible doesn't say 50% of things. The Bible says all things are possible lah, if you can believe. Lah. So this morning, friends, listen, lah. it is faith that focuses on God. Lah. It is faith that pleases God. Lah. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Lah. It is something that is real within your spirit. Lah. And each one of you, right, it is substance. Lah. You know, it is right, a spiritual reality within you. Lah. And you know, and you know, for you to bring forth the natural stuff around you. Lah. Amen. And so each one of us, we need to begin to understand lah. Why? Because what differentiates, right, between a man of God and someone who's mediocre? Next week, right, we're going to look at the book of Hebrews chapter 11. Amen. We're going to look even, you know, next week in the life of Abraham. But you see, the Bible says, by faith they obeyed. By faith he believed. By faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith. And each one of us, we need to begin to understand the scripture when Jesus says, have faith in, come on church, have faith in God, our focus must be God. Man, we need to focus on the Word of God. We need, right, to take God at His Word. Amen. We need, even this morning, right, to take the promises of God. Amen. That are there under, you know, that are there before us or under us. And yet, right, we can live life, right, looking for things around. When we have the Word of God within our homes. When we have, right, the treasures of God within our homes. And listen, we must not miss this, Amen. Why? Because you know, our whole life, right, is seeing, you know, our whole life is to see, right, the unfolding of the promises of God to affect every area of our life. Lah. Have faith in God. Lah. But you see, right, you now Jesus went on to say this lah, in verse 23. Lah. You see, right, friends, listen, lah, you know, all of us have faith in God. But you see, right, we need to have faith action. Lah. We need to activate our faith, lah, each one of us. Lah. You know, some of the things, right, you know, my wife and I, even as we have journeyed through as a Christian, I mean, some, you know, this message is us. Like, you know, how, right, God, right, you know, through our journeys in life, like, battling sicknesses, battling, right, infirmities in our body. Like, and how, right, you know, you know, you know, how, right, God journeyed us through, right, just to begin to understand this. Like, listen, you know, you know, even, right, in 1984, some of you have heard this before, my wife, you know, seriously, right, you know, uh, suffering of serious back problem. And, you know, you know so went to the specialist, you know, they, they say that we can't do anything, there's a curvature of the back. One day went for a meeting, amen, in 1984. This was the first miracle that we saw. You know, as they prayed, you know, my wife used to walk with a slight limb. One leg was two inches shorter than the other. And as they prayed in Jesus' name, that leg grew one and a half inches. I can still remember that day. You know, and that night when we came back, I can still remember, right, we were staying in the TNB quarters in Pride. Amen. I sat down. My wife came back. I told her to sit under the chair. I said, darling, let's measure those legs. La. Why? Because in an engineering mind, la. you know, we need to check the facts. La. <laughs> we need to check the facts. La. Amen. La. Why? Because, listen, you know, and so, right, you know, as she sat down, you know, I said to her, darling, let's measure those legs. La. Measured, you know, as I, as I saw, there was half an inch left. La. But I remember that night, la, you know, we said, right, Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. La. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. Why? Because I have faith in God. If you can believe, all things are, all things are possible. And that night, amen, it's just amazing, right? You know, next morning, got up before I went to work, amen. You know, I asked my wife, darling, sit in the chair, let's measure those legs. And guess what? Legs were perfect. Miracle. When God does something, friends, listen this morning, amen, God does it completely. Amen. I he doesn't just do a 50% job and 
He listened, he does it completely. La. And of course, right, some of you know, right, even in 1990, 1990 la, I was very ill. Doctors thought it was cancer. One doctor thought it was cancer of the brain. It was not cancer. La. But miraculously, right, by the word of God, listen, by reading the scripture, you know, I saw, right, you know, that a dark cloud come out of me, miraculously healed. But it was during these journeys, right, that I begin to begin to see, right, you know, how we need to activate faith. La. How each one of us, right, we need to activate faith. La. Why? Because there's a measure of faith within each one of us. La. You see, the problem with us is that we're not using our faith. La. The problem with us, right, it is there, but we're not activating, we're not exercising it. La. I remember, right, you know, that day, right, you know, those days, right, the few months that I was really sick, la. the devil said, you're going to die. La. The devil said, right, your wife is going to be a widow, your, your kids are going to be an orphan. La. I told the devil, listen, what I'm telling to you this morning, la, by the stripes of Jesus, I'm healed. Amen. With God, all things are possible. Amen. God is able to do exceedingly abundantly. La. And that one auspicious day, la, you know, that afternoon, everybody had left. Amen. The office, sixth floor, TNB headquarters. La. I was there, right, reading the scriptures lunchtime. La. As I was reading the word of God, friends, that, that afternoon, I saw a dark cloud come out of me and even right there, instantaneously, miraculously healed by Jesus Christ through His word. You know, listen, the word of God. Come on, church. Look at me. The word of God is living and powerful. Come on, He sent His word to heal and to deliver. Amen. Listen, our life, you know, our whole life, answers to our life are all here in Scripture. La. And all we need to do even this morning la, is not, like, not be that old silver miner. La. It's right here. La. And each one of us, we need to unlock and claim the promises, the wealth that God has for each one of us. La. And so we need to activate our faith. La. In Mark chapter 11, verses 23, la, what did Jesus say? La? You know, listen, you know, for us, right, to activate faith, the Bible, the, Jesus said this, la, Jesus said, for shortly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says, he will have whatever he says. Come on, someone shout out whoever. Come on, someone shout out whoever. Amen. Come on, shout out, shout out whatever. Whoever will have whatever. Are there any whoever's in our midst this morning? Come on, hey, who know whoever's there? Amen. Come on, are there any whoever's right having mountains in our life? La? Amen. Yes, and all of us, right? Listen, la, I want to say to you this morning, la, you can have whatever. La. Each one of you. La, but you need to begin to understand how faith operates. La. What did Jesus say? La? Jesus said, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain. La. Amen. God, right, defines your problem this morning relating it to a mountain. La. You know, just this weekend, just this week, on Thursday, you know, went down, my wife and the, the kids and myself, went down to see my dad, who's not, you know, he, who is uh, pretty weak, he's struggling with a battle with the sickness, so we just thought we'll just spend two days. Like. On the way back, right, Friday evening, you know, as I was driving by, you know, I just put this scripture, and you know, as I was driving by, you know, the Taiping, Kuala Kangsa, and then heading towards Ipoh, all the beautiful scenery, like. and you can see the lovely mountains, like. And here, right, this morning, God says, whoever says this mountain, God, even this morning, compares your problem to a mountain. Why? Because, right, when you look at a mountain, right, it seems unchangeable. And you look at a mountain, even this morning, right, it seems, right, so big. When you look at a mountain this morning, friends, listen, it seems, right, you know, so, you know, it seems, right, it's so difficult to overcome. Amen. And God compares, right, you know, our problems to a mountain, Amen. You know, so many times in life, friends, listen, you know, what does Jesus say? Like? Jesus said, you speak to your, you speak to your mountain. You know, so many times when we deal with our mountains, you know what we're doing? Like? We're speaking about the mountain. You know, so many times, right, when you are dealing with your mountain, we are speaking with our mountain. And our mountains have become our good friends. Like. What does the Bible say? Like? Listen, Jesus commanded each one of us this morning. Like. Jesus commanded us to command the mountain. Yes, you need to pray. Amen. Yes, you know, you need to think great good thoughts of the word of God. Yes, you know, listen. But listen, when you deal with your mountain, you don't, right? You know, you speak to your mountain. You command that mountain. Amen. You know, when the Bible speaks about a mountain, it speaks right about anything against the will of God. Anything that is against the word of God. And listen, when you, when, when you speak about a mountain, you know, it speaks about you know, anything, right, that will hinder, right, the purposes of God. 
Amen. Each one of us. And so when you and I begin to deal with our mountain, we need to command our mountain. We need to speak to our mountain. Amen. You see, friends, if you don't speak,